You're awake. We uh, had a bit of a rough night last night. So, we're just last getting them going, huh? I slept until 10.30 because I kept melting at like 1 in the morning. Yeah. And I never. It was a rough night. Yeah, and I slept until 10.30 because I kept there were some consequences at midnight that were not very appreciated. But we're gonna keep in the festive mood today and go to a movie. So, I'm taking the younger two to see Sing 2. They've been looking forward to this for a very long time. Are you excited to go see it? Yeah. So excited she's actually doing her chore. Well, no. No, she does her chore all the time. So we're gonna get ready to go. I am only wearing this sweatshirt so that I don't get my nice black sweater dirty. I will change right before we go. And then we have some Christmas baking to do today. We're going to make fudge. Yeah, I'm going to make some fudge. I don't know, a few more things. And then we have a game to prep for Christmas Eve. We're going to do a candy ball for Christmas Eve. I'm going to put an extra little surprise in the very Christmas Eve. So we're gonna get ready to go. Also, our card wall is surviving, but not all of them are surviving. Yeah. So I am starting to put them over here. Just so some of you, if you see it in the background and you notice your card is missing, just know that it's right here. <laughs> like this one and our cute little bus one. Like this one right here. They're too heavy. No, no, know, it's fine. Put them on. No, they're falling off. I had five cards on the floor this morning. So we are putting them up, up here in the cute little tray on our house table. So just know that they're here and we're thinking of them and you all the time. But <laughs> what is this outfit? It's pajamas, but go and get yourself ready. Okay, boo? It's a new day. It's a new day. And how many days until Christmas Eve? Three, two. Two. So you gotta be doing better than you were last night. Okay, we're gonna get ready. Did you guys like it? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really talk about it going into the theater, very but good. it was very good. And the last song is very fun. It's more my my uh, era, I guess you could say. But you guys liked it? Yeah. Wait, what was it's the pouring last rain song? out there. What was Soaking the last wet. Song? What was the last song? You two. Uh, Jason and I have always said if you two goes on tour again, even in Europe, which they always do. Definitely we'll go see their tour again. Huh? We went to Ireland to see them open their tour a couple, eight years ago? When before, nine years ago. No, it was before Chelsea was born. Chelsea was supposed to be our Irish baby, but we did not get pregnant in Ireland. Fun fact, we got pregnant a month after we got home. <laughs> so that was almost 12, 13 years ago that we went to U2 in concert. That's crazy. What? That's crazy, it was that long ago. Anyway, so you guys had a good time? Yeah. And now we've had popcorn and sodas, and that's all we've had today, so we're gonna go home and get some lunch and make some fudge. And I'll talk to you about my fudge um, and when we get home. There's lots of traffic. We're days away from Christmas, so we gotta be safe. Put you guys away. Okay, back at home. And it is fudge time. So, got all my ingredients ready for me. I did this before I left. And we're gonna make my mom's fudge. And I haven't made it yet since she passed away. 
If you're new, my mom passed away a couple months ago and it's our first Christmas without her. So, you know, it is what it is. And so I'm not gonna do an actual tutorial on how to do this fudge, but I will leave a link down below to the video I did, I don't know, last year or the year before. I have given a full tutorial on how to make this and it's just really hard to <laughs> make a tutorial, a cooking one, especially with this recipe because you have to go fast. We have to go slow and then you have to go fast. So there's no way I can actually film it because I do not have the energy today. I so <laughs> Ashley's like, I do. Well, but we're gonna make it, yeah. right? Um, and I will show you the process, but I will leave the, the recipe down below as well as the video for how to make it. I do not cheat. I do not do the whole can of uh, sweetened condensed milk and some chocolate and swirl it and call that candy. Nope. That is not the real way. I'm actually going to use the candy ball method um, where you actually test the candy with a bowl of cold water and then you take it and you plop down on the counter and if it keeps a ball then you're good to go. But it takes a bit to kind of prep which is why I got the ingredients out but you wanna have your stage set because it goes quickly at the end and you need to kind of be ready. So I'm going to butter my pan. Um, it has to be lined in tin foil, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get that set up here and then you can join us. And I have a whole bunch. How many people are upstairs? Kaylee? Three, four, five. How many do you have up there with you? Okay. Um, six teenagers upstairs. They're watching a movie, I guess. So they maybe will get a slice of some fudge to test it for us when we are done. All right, we have buttered just the sides of the pan and I've got two cubes of butter in there. And then we have buttered the sides of my foil pan right here. And we got all the ingredients set aside. I'm only gonna do half the bag of the marshmallows. I've got a bowl of chocolate chips. The sugar is gonna go in with my butter. Got it. I do not have the heat on yet because I need to be fully set up here. I've got my water to do the softball stage here on the counter. Yes. And I've got my evaporated milk. Yep, you can pour that in. Okay. And then we'll turn yeah, the heat on. Right okay, it's go time. Ashley's gonna be my photographer for me because I will have my hands full this whole time, right? All right, so at this point, this is why I'm kind of having to be hands off with the camera because I'm gonna melt down this butter, sugar, and milk, but I can only touch the bottom of the pan. I guess I'll give you some tips to make this on top of the tutorial. You do not scrape the side of the pan. I'm only scraping the bottom, and that's why the sides are buttered. Got my candy thermometer here, and we're gonna test it up to hard ball stage. But now I have to stay here. This is where I am going to reside for probably the next 30 minutes. <laughs> so you bring this to a boil very, very slowly. And then once it gets to a boil, you have to test it um, for the candy ball stage. I am here for a while. I'll check in with you as soon as we get to that next point. All right, we are boiling now and we're at about 210 degrees. This is where people are like, oh no, it's boiling. <laughs> And it's also why I needed to have a high enough pan um, because it does bo suddenly boil up and we were about half the height of this about three minutes ago. So you wanna make sure your pan is tall enough to be able to do this because of the boiling. Okay, we are at two, still 210. I'm gonna keep stirring. No, it don't feel right without you. All right, so fail. This pan is not good for baking like this because the, something on the bottom got too hot. I, my dad thinks this is not an aluminum pan. It's probably not. And so it burnt the milks and the sugars on the bottom of the pan. And every time I scraped it, which is what you're supposed to do, it burnt all those. You can see all of those little bits. It doesn't taste burnt yet, but this will not taste good as fudge. So I'm letting that cool down and I'm actually gonna pour it out into a bowl because I wanna like make sure that there's burnt bits on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna ditch this batch. So 
I wanted to hurry and get to the point where I knew I was gonna throw it away and not waste my chocolate and my marshmallows. So I FaceTimed my dad and he was like, yep, I think that's your problem. So we're gonna go with a large pot. This is very similar to the one I had and I just wish I had used this one because it is a good one and it's similar to my old one, but it's just really big. But we're just gonna go for it because I'd rather have good fudge. Um, I just got it to boil. We're not even to 200 degrees yet. We're gonna try again. And my dad suggested I get, make sure I have a flat bottomed spoon. I had a spork um, wooden spoon over there and that wasn't quite getting it. I think that's where we were burning on the bottom. So I'm gonna put the camera down and keep going. Sorry. All yeah. right, I don't know. We've added the marshmallows. It did not look good when we first added the chocolate, but it is looking better as I add the marshmallows. So it didn't quite on the thermometer get to candy ball stage. But this is looking pretty good and it's already setting up. So I'm gonna have the kids move here and we're gonna dump it in the pan. I think we're ready. You ready, Abby? Definitely. <laughs> All right, well, it doesn't quite have the creamy that I like to have it have. There's a little bit of a grain. You can actually see the graininess in it. I don't know, maybe I'm just picky. Grew up with my mom knowing how to do this. I guess more like right here is what it look, should look like. I don't really know how to describe it. Win some, you lose some. <laughs> and I have uh, some on my sock. But when it gets to this candy ball stage and you're having to like put it in and out of the bowl, it gets really crazy and my kitchen is now a complete disaster. It is what it is. Uh, it was starting to kind of burn on the sides of that pan. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh -huh, I don't know where I got my last pan because it never ever did that. It never turned, never, never started to burn. I think what I'm gonna do when I go to Utah next, because I don't, maybe, maybe there's a store here. There's a store down in Salt Lake where I'm from in Utah, or not, I'm not from Salt Lake, but called I think Gigi's. It's my dad's favorite cooking store. I think I'm gonna suck it up and get a really nice one from there because this one, even though it has thicker sides, it just didn't didn't have the same effect that I wanted it to have. And I just, I don't wanna waste all those ingredients and so much time to not have it work out. So, my parents, this is how much you ha the pan means to this process. And they make, my dad and my mom used to make a lot of candy. In fact, my dad just finished making his peanut brittle and he made, he made eight batches of peanut brittle this year. My brothers came up and helped him out. But they make candy every single year. And their pan that they've had and that works, and that's where I know it's failed for me, they've had that pan since I can remember. So easily 40 years of my life, that pan has come with them. It no longer even have, it has a handle on it, you guys. <laughs> it used to have like a long handle on the side. It no longer has the handle. And you have to like, I think he even puts like some uh, wrench clippers, plier clippers, and attaches that to the side when he's doing his candy making. <laughs> That's how good this pan is and how useful it is. Look at this, this is just a mess. So now I've gotta like get that really hot and kind of melt it down and get it to go down the disposal. Don't tell Jason. He's gonna get mad, but I don't want to put it in the garbage. He's gonna find it. I know, he's gonna find it eventually when he sees this video. Okay, I don't think it's a complete fail, but I don't think I will uh, let, I, this will not be gifts. I'll just say that. This is not gonna be given as a gift, but it's good. I just know that it's grainy. Cause I don't think it cooked down as much as it totally needed to. Even though we got the candy ball stage, I think the sugar is needed to dissolve a little bit more, if that makes sense. Cause it's grainy. So, I'm, the teenagers are not gonna know any different. So I'll let them have a slice. I think they just said that they just had McDonald's door dashed and they ordered 80 chicken nuggets. <laughs> yeah, I ordered them 30 chicken nuggets, 30 or 40 chicken nuggets. 30, but uh, like last week. 10. 
And um, I thought that was a lot. And they, that was only with two teenage boys here. So I think 80 will get them a little further. <laughs> Welcome home. Hey. Um, this is proof that they ordered 80 chicken nuggets. <laughs> and four. This is, yeah, this is their DoorDash bag. But. Can I come in? No, you can't come in. Why? No, like literally, you can't come in. Okay. I'm doing last minute finding of Christmas presents. <laughs> I've known that there's some that I'm saving for Christmas Eve, but I just found a whole stash and I was like, is this gonna keep happening? Am I gonna keep having stuff pop up? Certain things I put in certain places so that they didn't get found, and now I'm actually worried about two big things. I don't remember where they are. I have one more place I can look, but I can't look with everyone here, and everyone is here. So I'm just wrapping up a few last minute stuff. Um, I just have, I'll show you one of those little things. This is for Ashley. Cute. Little teeny tiny. In fact, I think this is going to go in her stocking. So I'm not going to wrap that one. Doing stockings a little bit different this year. Because we don't have big stockings. So I'm going to wrap up a few more things. Including this one here for Jason. A little something in there. Um, and then I have a little something in this box that I need to wrap up. So Jason's going to come and wrap. He has secret things hidden under here he just got. And Abby needs to wrap up Ashley's secret sister gift in this box. I think he brought empty stuff. I think there's a secret gift underneath that. And we're getting down to the wire. And I'm getting hot, so I'm going to take this sweater off. I still haven't eaten, like, a normal meal. I had cottage cheese and some berries. I'm getting very, very hungry. All I've had is sugar. I've had Coke and popcorn. <laughs> I'm getting very hungry. And the toast this morning. But that's all I've had. So I'm gonna hurry and wrap this stuff up so Jason can have this room. He said I need the room for like an hour or two to wrap and get his stuff done because he still has to work until Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna hurry up in here and then he's gonna take a turn. It's off my face. Well, no. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that on camera. I should FaceTime you. That would be fun. Did you really get that off? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to the camera really quick Erin okay. so I'm on the phone with my twin sister Erin and hello. she so, yeah she say hello hello um so she just had surgery yesterday she had a deviated septum and then did they like funnel your tubes out yeah, like what did they, they do they just sucked my sinuses out <laughs> sucked her sinuses out and so anyway she um has done all this other prep work to get ready for this surgery that she just had in order to be ready for christmas and then suddenly she realized i didn't get my gift the main we always rotate who we give to in our family there's eight families plus my dad and we rotate every year and she's like i didn't get them a gift <laughs> what am i gonna I do totally dropped the ball i totally this is not me no, so on the ball. she's so on the ball. Here? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so she hadn't gotten anything and we have had an idea, me and her have had an idea of something to get my brother and I can't say what it is because this is going up on Christmas Eve. Yeah, you don't want to ruin it for me, thank you. Thank you. And uh, anyway, so we had an idea but we didn't know if it was going to work for my brother and I found out today, I was a little sneaky for her, and I found out that the gift we were gonna give is going to work, and so we just spent the past hour and set eight minutes now, but we have actually been on the phone three times today. <laughs> I'm working through this and I haven't had this much fun like shopping for someone else like in a very well, of course, it's somebody else's money. No, but I would have done the same thing Erin if no, I gave no, to it them is fun. It was my money and I loved it. This was absolutely Yeah Laying on the bed not doing anything shopping nose from bleeding all day yeah. <laughs> Swallowing this the blood the best way to pass the time hands down hands down yeah, so anyway, we just got this super cool gift. She's going to FaceTime me when she gives it to my brother. And I'm just so, I am, and I even added a gift. I don't give to my brother, but I added a gift from my Amazon account, and I'm sending it to my dad's house, just like she's sending the gifts to my dad's house so that they get there on Christmas Eve so that they can wrap it. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. It involves their dog. <laughs> so... It involves their dog. It involves their dog. So, Erin, if you film me, I'm going to do a screen um, video of your call so that we okay, can okay. show the tubers how, okay. what we did. Um, I, it was a group effort, and I'm having another effort, the other side of this gift. I'm helping out later because of this gift. You'll understand all of this at another date, but yeah. I haven't had so much fun with, you know, 
my yeah, little my this sister. Has fun, so. This has been very fun. But I'm gonna let the day. Well, I did, but like, it was fun. I would do this. I would have done this kind of a gift for them had I given to them. That's the thing. Sure. It, doesn't, it didn't even matter that you were spending your money. I would have done the exact same thing. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye to my sister okay. and then I will be back with you guys. All right. It is 10 o'clock. I don't know what that is. Um, it's 10 o'clock, right? I'm going to go get Ashley in bed. But for you guys, it is Christmas Eve. So, I was trying to think all week, like, what kind of fun, creative, festive, Christmas Eve video could we do? And the reality is, we just needed to keep doing our regular life and get ready for our Christmas Eve. So, it is what it is today. I had fun with my sister, I had fun with the girls today, and Jason is just tired, right? <laughs> you just yes. are working all the time and you need some days off, so. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah. He's looking I want to go for a hike or something, but with avalanche conditions, I don't know. I just, the weather. Is, yeah. Snow is coming our way, uh, I think, on Christmas Day or the day after. So. But then the following week is supposed to be crazy cold all week, which mm -hmm. means by maybe the end of the week, there could be some ice climbing. So I'm going to try to ask, yeah. uh, see if Sean, maybe it could be available to do well, some Well, and maybe the ski resorts will open up soon. You got to see. They already are open. Oh. Well. They opened for ticket holders, like last week or whatever. Okay, one of these Mondays we're gonna have to send him skiing. You need to start going on your date. You don't have very many days off, so. Yeah. You need to start going skiing. But we're gonna say goodnight, and I'm adding to this pile. It's getting bigger and bigger, and I have more. I have more that I've tucked away, and now I've this had- This seems like way too much, considering we were gonna go low key. Well, some of it is stuff that other people have sent us. Okay. It's not all like from us. I just put like, my brother sent us stuff, but it came in like four different Amazon packages. So every time something came, I wrapped it up and I realized I could have wrapped them up separate <laughs> or all together. But like, it's from my brother, it's from his sister and his, well, like his brother. So, but you know what? It is what it is when you have four kids and there's presents under there for him. You're it's fun. Under there tomorrow. Yeah, I know. It's hidden in the other room. He hasn't wrapped it yet. I, I dominated that room. He said he needed it tonight to wrap, and I took the time with my sister, so he didn't get to it. But we're going to say goodnight to you guys. Merry Christmas Eve for you guys. But stay tuned next week as we continue our week and get ready for our Christmas. So. And actually, down below in comments, you should write down your favorite Christmas tradition. Yeah. Love to know. Christmas tradition. Or if you're Jewish, Hanukkah, I guess. Yeah. But uh, favorite Christmas tradition, our Hanukkah, and uh, I don't know, it'd be fun to see what people do with their family. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be cool. Yeah. Be cool. So take care, you guys, and happy holidays. <laughs>